How to cut the cord and never pay for cable TV again. Okay, let's see. What does this... If you're paying more than $100 a month for cable or satellite TV, switching to an internet-based streaming service could save you up to $1,000 a year. Before we have this spirited conversation, everybody at home, remember, this is not investment advice. This is just commentary within our office here. If you like what you're seeing, please, down below, click the subscribe button on YouTube so that you can get alerted every time we put a new video out. And finally, if you like what we're doing, call us, email us, walk in. Um, here at Ravenna Capital, we focus on comprehensive wealth management for all of our clients. So we'd love to talk to you. Okay, so I'm not going to read because there's not much to this as far as the article. But uh, Bruce, you were really liking this one. So I'm going to let you start off with this one and talk about cutting the cord and what that means as far as um, the finances and economics of that. With all the different, I, I read this article and I and I found it really really interesting simply because, as I talked to Ryan, uh, my daughter Chelsea, the younger people are just getting they're they're getting all their information and they're they're watching TV from a completely different source than than what I've been accustomed to. Uh, originally. Originally, when I was a kid, we had rabbit ears. We had three local channels. <clears throat> then, then we go to to cable TV, um, and now the, the 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 basic would be cable TV, um, AT and T Juverse, um, or a dish. Well, now we have YouTube TV. You've got Sling TV. You've got AT and T now. You've got Hulu, and all of these type of things are internet based. And I just talked to a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago, who was getting Hulu for the sports portion and YouTube TV for because he had his local channels and all the channels that he watched on YouTube TV. Mm -hmm only picked up the basic channels for Hulu so he could watch the sports and he's and it total it's like fifty dollars a month and he and our average bill is a hundred and thirty I just find it fascinating that more and more people are looking at this and it's supposed to be just like a cable where they have you know your regular broadcasting I really question how does Comcast and Uverse compete with this this type of of, of, of a market that, that's starting to roll out, especially when the younger kids don't really want to be tied to anything that's direct to, tied to their to their TV. Yeah, it's not just that; it's just that there's 500 channels and nothing to watch, and I just hate it. Right. I haven't had cable TV in seven or eight years, and it's so stupid. It's so programmed, it's so scripted, and actually I was house-sitting once, like a month ago or something, and they had cable TV, and I, all right, whatever, I'll watch some TV, you know, a movie. The movie channels, now they play the movie for like 12 minutes, and then they play 12 minutes of ads, and then 12 minutes of movie, and 12 minutes of ads, and tw why would I ever do that? The only thing that's on cable TV is live sports, but that's on all the streaming services now, or you can pirate it in 1080p hd on the internet so why even need cable now chelsea what about you aren't you trying to cut the cord <laughs> yes <laughs> i've been begging my husband to cut the cord not because we pay an outrageous amount of money it's like 75 dollars a month and it's pretty much the basic channel package from dish but um i just think there's th like what you said there's 500 channels and we watch four four or five of them mm -hmm. really um and i didn't realize but kind of researching into this article and kind of cutting the cord that 78 percent of households still have a cable service like a direct tv or a dish um and i think what a lot of people don't realize is that in order to stream this tv stream youtube tv or or hulu you actually have to have internet yeah. So for rural America, where it's hard to get internet, um, mm -hmm. it could be hard to get a streaming service, and you actually have to have a streaming device, so a smart TV or <clears throat> a computer or something that you can actually stream or a smartphone um, to stream the actual TV on, which 
that some people just don't have. Um, the older generations, they just haven't converted over. Um, and you have populations of younger people living in these major metropolis cities that the internet's just available. Um, so I think that's why the 78% is still as high as it is. Mm -hmm. um, I do see a huge wave, though, of, of consumers getting away from the dishes and the direct TVs. Um, I'm trying to uh, currently, but um, what I do recommend though, and what they did speak about in the article is going through whatever package you do have and finding what channels you do like, and then finding the streaming service that includes those Well, let's channels. go. I'm gonna check it out right now. Let's see what YouTube TV. Because it's hard to compare. I don't use YouTube TV, but I know it's killer in all the different things it has. So here, I'm gonna read you the channels of what YouTube TV offers. And we'll see if the, these, these are any channels that are interesting to you. The, uh, you will find that they don't offer any sports channels. I think they do though. Yeah. They've got, hang on, Fox Sports right there. Okay. Hang on, let's see. Um, so, well, I thought it was just gonna list. Now it's just a landing page. Where are the channels? Well, I guess I thought I should have been more prepared. I thought this was going to work. It does say, $50 a month, watch live TV from over 70 channels. Oh, I guess I have to type in a zip code. We'll type in our zip code here. One, one HGTV, of the TV, MSNBC, mm -hmm. AMC, ESPN, all the locals, food, TNT, uh, NBC Sports, Fox Sports. Okay, here we go. Channels in our area through YouTube TV, all the local channels, including Telemundo. Uh, wow, six, seven, seven, fourteen. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18 different sports channels, wow. including SEC Network, Fox Sports, Golf Channel, MLB, all the ESPNs. They're all there. Um, let's see, four, five, six, seven, 14 different news channels, BBC, all the major cable news channels. Even the Young Turks is on here. I'm surprised. Fox Business, Lifestyle Channels, all of those reality ch channels, HGTV, Nat Geo, FX. E Discovery Channel, you all of them. Wow, I'm really surprised. Fifty dollars. I'm really surprised at this. Uh, family channels, Disney, all of those. Additional networks, Rain Showtime, Stars, others. As wow. I was reading the article, some of these do not have local. Don't offer local channels where you have to get a a antenna or something that's okay. on the back of the tv yeah and and they said it's not like the old rabbit ears mm -hmm. they have a flat antenna that man, mounts on the back of the tv to pick up local channels yeah so i do have an hd antenna and i gotta say when i first got it i didn't know what to expect it looks like a good hd t channel you can't tell any difference and you've got all the hd mm -hmm. local channels right there mm -hmm. it's fine with me now here's something i want to include here i was talking with a friend of mine a, a couple weeks ago about netflix and he sent me this diagram so you guys can't see it obviously because you're sitting there but it actually works really well into this it's a timeline from 2002 until today actually 2021 and it shows a line graph what this is comparing is all the new competition against netflix and actually what it shows here is all the different streaming services so we have starting in 2007 actually first it was netflix then starting in 2007 you have uh, Apple TV, let me put this on full screen, Apple TV, and then in 2008, Hulu, Stars Play, HBO Go, Amazon Instant Video, CBS, Sky, uh, YouTube TV, more Amazon Prime, Facebook Live, and then at IMDB TV, Walmart TV, Disney Plus, Apple TV Plus, BritBox, HB, and like it's just it's it's, there's so many different options for streaming online now that yeah that's why right. would you pay right. 150 dollars a month again but you have to have internet and you have to have the streaming device sure sure right and I would definitely compare what you're paying just for because sometimes they will bundle like I think Comcast does a bundle like internet phone TV find out exactly what you're paying for your TV. And then go and compare to these, yeah. Because when you're when you're comparing, you have to treat the internet as a separate bill. Correct. 
or if you, you have to have you have to have internet in order to stream these. Mm -hmm. So if you cut Comcast completely, then you have to pick up just internet. Well, then that might be plus whatever you're paying for YouTube TV, the same amount that you're paying right now for Comcast. Or so, you could just like stop watching so much TV. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if everybody would do that, and it would be kind of a sight to see of what productivity the country would have if everyone stopped watching TV. Like I told you this morning, <laughs> Kanye West got up in front of the church over the weekend and said, yeah. stop watching TV. <laughs> Hollywood is putting satanic symbols and messages all across the TV shows. <laughs> So anyway, do you guys have any other things you want to comment I, on? I, I I just think your husband would go nuts if he didn't have sports yeah, channels. Yeah, he's such a big sports buff, and I think that. Oh, yeah, um, look, look at that YouTube TV. Yeah, I yeah. definitely. Think, I didn't even something. know, and we have YouTube. We have smart TVs, so yeah. we have YouTube right there. But um, yeah, he's definitely got to have KU Jayhawks, and he's got to have St. Louis Cardinals. So, cool. Um, I just find it interesting where where the technology is changing everything that we're touching so much mm -hmm. and and we we as you said the older folks <laughs> I I resemble that remark uh, I have I you know still I'm still looking at this and thinking wow maybe we need to do, to to consider something different than standard TV right yep okay okay that's all we got right now everybody Thanks a bunch for watching. See ya.